hey, you know, everybody's making her to be out this big knockout puncher and this knockout artist. And look, build her up is that. But it's going to hurt a lot of people's feelings when I beat her because they're going to see that she doesn't hold any power and she doesn't have more skills than me because I've gotten better and better and better over the years and she has declined. So we're in, we in two different calibers. So it was never a thing of, oh, I don't think the fight with me and Marshall will ever happen. I've been wanting to make it happen. She's the one, her and her team who felt she wasn't ready. Like she felt like she's not ready now because I'm ready to go in December. And she wants to have her a tune-up fight and possibly fight in the next year or something of that nature. And for somebody who's a big knockout artist, it doesn't seem like she's ready to knock me out. Everybody's writing this whole facade out to be as if she's a better fighter, and she's not. You know, I seen on Sky, she said uh, she's smarter than me. We were at both the Olympics together. She didn't medal, but guess who got two Olympic gold medals? Me. And then I'm also a 12 time world champion. She's a one time belt, belt holder. How is she smarter? So that was Clarissa Shields uh, making a case. Um, in regards to her rival, Savannah Marshall. They've been on collision calls for quite a while. And uh, she's been more or less stating the fact that, I mean, to sum it all up, she believes that um, Savannah Marshall is not on her level. And people are gassing her up, ga gassing Savannah Marshall up to be on her level. And they, can continue, they should continue that. But she doesn't see Savannah Marshall as being a knockout artist or uh, whatever, a, a knockout power puncher and so on. Neither is she, by the way, but that's not the point here. She believes that her accolades and accomplishments far supersede anything that Savannah Marshall may present. She's a one-time champion, and that's about it. Now, there's three things I'm going to point out with that conversation, with what happened with that video there. The first one, you could actually dismiss as superficial if you're that way inclined, but nonetheless, I'm going to make it anyway because I feel that appearances are important. And I do not know who styles Savannah, no, forgive me, Clarissa Shields, not Savannah, Clarissa Shields. And who would advise her? Or maybe she's just like Deontay Wilder and she doesn't listen to anybody. But who would advise her to come on TV looking like an orangutan with orange hair? And I'm, I'm sorry, people are probably not going to say it, but there's going to be one or two, and I happen to be one of them, who are thinking it like, this is ridiculous. You cannot say that a woman is ugly, but she's determined to make herself look ridiculous, look like a fucking clown. She looks absolutely atrocious with that ridiculous orange hair. And I don't want to say it, but she does look like she comes from that movie from the 60s when the primates take, took over the earth and then there was a special cast of orangutans who were supposed to be like, uh, you know, the intellectuals of some shit and I couldn't help but think like what possessed her? Who advised her that this is a good look, this is a good look for her to come on TV and or whatever on social media and talk like that and that's one. Now, you, like I said, you could dismiss that superficial. Now let's get more in depth and then probably we go into something else, my own personal thing that I noticed about it, but that's one extreme. The other extreme is this, on a more intellectual note, I happen to feel that, that Clarissa Shields is going to crack and she's going to crack because she carries this enormous chip on her shoulder, which is unnecessary. I've heard many things say about, being said, forgive me, being said about Savannah Marshall, but I've never heard anybody say that she's smarter than Clarissa Shields. I think that's something that she's developed in her own mind as a black person with an inferiority complex. I've never heard anybody, and, and I listen to a lot of this stuff, anybody saying like, oh yeah, guess what, Savannah Marshall's smarter or cleverer. That's something that she's developed, and I think that kind of woman would develop that kind of attitude when she's dealing with a particular kind of woman from another persuasion. And I feel it's only a matter of time before hair trigger Clarissa goes there in regards to what intellectualism and being smart and being black and being white really means or how it matters and how there's an element of you know what involved in that. She's laying the ground for that because I do not know why she would bring that up. Even if somebody is saying it, why would you even acknowledge it? The fact that she acknowledged it is defeat, it's self-defeating. They're saying that she's smarter than me. What, what the fuck are you talking about? I think if you lay down what you claim to be your accomplishments, I don't think that anybody can argue that Savannah Marshall being some sort of scholar, and I never I don't understand what that really means, because I think that's really what's bugging her, that they keep on saying she's some scholar. I don't know what's, what that even means, to be honest with you. But they used to say, this, they used to say I'm a scholar. I don't know what's that got to do with boxing. Or, anyway, 
that's the, the other extreme. Now, in the middle, here's the thing, and <laughs> pardon the pun. If Clarissa Shields was a male fighter, okay, and I know what I said about her could be deemed as being misogynist and sexist and so on and so forth, but let's look at it this way. If Clarissa Shields was a male fighter and she was out of competition and she looked the way she looked in her midsection, let's say one of, a P, one of those PBC fighters looked, the way, she's looking like, at the moment she's looking like Tyson Fury, a, 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 a sort of uh, median, me medium mode. Okay, median. She's looking like a median between Adrian Broner and Tyson Fury. Listen, I say that because I see other women fighters, particularly in UFC, and I don't even like them, apart from Holly Holm, of course. But I see other women out of competition, and they don't look like that. She looks frumpy. She looks fat. And she doesn't look anything like a champion to me, even though Amanda Serrano's kissing her backside. She looks absolutely disgusting. Look at that. Look at that midsection. Now, i got to say, I like female boxers. Uh, I, I like, uh, what's her name? Uh, Raquel Miller. I haven't even seen her box that much, but, you know, she puts up the right images and you can follow her. I like uh, Alicia Bromeyer. I can't pronounce her name properly. Okay, I like her. I like the French girl, Maeva Hamadouche. I like the German girl. The two Germans, by the way. Um, Christina Hammer and uh, Sophia Lys. I like, uh, I like all sorts. But, you know, when it comes to Clarissa Shields and the other one, Franchon Cruz. Franchon Cruz put one of the most beautiful pictures I've ever seen up. I keep that picture because it, I think it represents more than boxing. It represents culture. You know what I'm saying? But individually, I don't find her pretty. But that's, you know, but she's not going out of her way to put orange hair on and looks fucking ridiculous. I mean, her style still looks ridiculous to me. She's the one who uh, had to have her, um, her attachments cut off. While she was fighting that, that Mexican on drugs. But I gotta say, like, look, all in all, apart from the, f the, the thing with the hair, and apart from the fact that, listen, if she was a guy and she, and she was looking like that, a midsection looking like that, we'd be pointing to that saying, like, this person's not serious. And how can you call yourself a champion? You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to always be ready. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, have that, f that Mayweather attitude to always be in the gym. We'd be, we would point to that. But aside from all that, the one that really strikes me the worst, the one that really, really disappoints me the most is the fact that she could say like, oh, they're saying she's smarter than me. How is she smarter than me? I think that's just reeks of inferiority. Inferiority, forgive me. It does. It reeks of inferiority. And I think Clarissa Shields, if she wants to be what she believes she is, she should stop doing that. You know what I mean? Stop having this chip on the shoulder and acting like a fucking victim for crying out loud.